We're still on the breakfast and Plus TV Africa and many thanks for staying with us this morning and also joining. Uh, we're just going to be looking at the consent of the Nigerian Labour Congress. Uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress, that's the NLC, has called for the reversal of private ownership and control of electricity sector. The trade union also kicked against the privatisation of water resources as proposed in the National Water Resource Bill currently before the National Assembly. The union stated its position during a meeting at the National Union of Electricity Employees in Yaba area of Lagos, uh, that was on Tuesday. The National Water Bill, or uh, Water Resources Bill, which was introduced in the 8th Assembly, was reintroduced in June. The bill had caused an outrage among many Nigerians who perceived it as a power grab by the federal government. Um, so Joe Ajero, the union national deputy president, said that since the handover of assets to private owners, corruption and inefficiency had remained in the sector. Private operators took over the Nigeria's uh, power sector from Power Holding Company of Nigeria in 2013. Joining us this morning to throw more light on this is Onyeka Christopher, Assistant General Secretary, NLC, Yaba, Lagos. Thank you so much, Christopher, for joining us. Thank you for having me, and good morning to you. Well, let, let's head straight to the conversation now. Uh, why is the NLC uh, taking the stance that she has taken? Especially when we know that uh, the private sector, we know that government is not a, a manager of business. And so the private sector, over time, has been responsible for economic development across you know, economies in the world. Uh, okay, I think, uh, I, can, I think it would be better we start like this, that we clarify that the call, this particular call that was made, was not by the Nigerian Labour Congress but by the National Union of Electricity Employees. But uh, we have the Nigerian Labour Congress as well as one called for the reversal of the electricity uh, sector. Um, that is where we start from. And so uh, the issue is very clear. One is that anybody that says that the private sector is always better in managing or you know, propelling economic development. Yes, that may be true, but that is not very true, especially in an economy like Nigeria. The truth is that if you go to if you go to places like uh, like uh, like China, is a public sector that drives economic development, and uh, I'm not sure that Nigeria is as developed as China. Now, if you look at one of the best airlines in Nigeria, which the president of the Congress has always used to give us example. You find out that Ethiopian airline is a, is a public sector company. It's owned by the government and is doing well. Anybody that tells you that, that, uh, that government does not have any business in government is not telling you the truth. That is the reality. And then we, we, we but the, let's go back to the privatization of, of the electricity sector. The fact remains that when in a country like our own, they talk about privatization, the question we ask, is who is going to buy the, this particular sector? Who is going to buy the companies? Is it is the seller equals to the buyer? Because that is what you find out in Nigeria. The sellers are always equal to the buyers. It's the same people that are selling, are also the same people that are buying. And so you find out that the privatization process in our nation, unfortunately, is driven or is conceived in iniquity and propelled by corruption. And when you have these two combinations operating, you find out, they say, the Bible says, if the foundation uh, you know, be, uh, be shaken, what can the righteous do? If the foundation of the process that gave us the privatization of the electricity sector is faulty, was built on iniquity, how can its outcomes be fair? Now, let me ask you a question. Since the electricity sector was sold, before it was so, we were generating up uh, around four, uh, four uh, this, um, uh, megawatts. We were generating that. But immediately, immediately after selling, we have not been able to generate up to that since then. Yeah, you find out that what has been privatized is darkness. 
So the objectives for privatizing the sector, have they been achieved? Have we now brought in better expertise from abroad? No. That is the truth. The people, have we now brought in foreign exchange from abroad? No. The truth is that the people that bought that particular sector do not have the discourse and the genco, do not have the technical capacity to manage those places. They did not bring in any expertise from abroad. We still had the same workers, our members, who we are trained and all of those. They, you didn't, we, they, they did not bring in any fresh fund from abroad. Rather, they borrowed from the banks internally. So you find out that the decision of the register was mired, was conceived in sin, and as a result of that, a lot of lies have been told to be able to convert it. And so we are asking that we reverse it. Because if anything is directed under lies, then it behoves us as responsible citizens and responsible organizations to ask for a reversal. And that is why we are calling for a reversal, so that if we have to do it, we do it correctly and in the right way, so that it will benefit Nigerians and benefit Nigerian workers. That is why we are asking for that. So that, um, you know, corruption is the reason why you're asking for the reversal? It was conceived in iniquity. Process that led to that reversal was wrong. That is one. Two, that the privatization itself has not given us, the, uh, has not attained any of its objectives. One of the objectives was to increase electricity generation and supply. That has not happened. It has rather become worse instead of improving. Two, to make capacity, okay, to run the setup. That has not happened. Three, to bring in funds, more funds, into the, the, the sector, uh, especially product investment. That has not happened. They borrowed money from, uh, from our banks. And so that is a problem that we're having. And we are saying that since those objectives have not been achieved, it is better that we reverse it, and then we sit down, renegotiate the process, and then start all over. Perhaps uh, um, we may get uh, the right people to buy it and then to buy the, uh, the companies and then get them to run it properly and deliver the understated objectives for the sector. But for now, it has not worked and it will not work because the same people that sold the electricity sector sold it to themselves and their brothers and their cronies and their friends. Onyeka, so you're saying that, that we're asking, yeah. yeah. So, so what what your uh, group and organization is asking is not that you know it shouldn't be privatized, but is that uh, the privatization uh, has an error? There's there's a question mark to it. It's not that you're asking that the government should be in control of this, but you're saying that it should be sold to the right people. Am I correct? Two things, I'm One. It is not to say that government cannot run such entities successfully. Government can run it successfully if it so wishes to do so. So what are you capacity, asking for? So I what exactly are you asking for? We are asking, what we are asking for now is a reversal. Because what you have done is conceived in saying, reverse it. When you reverse it, then we all sit down and decide on the way forward. I think what we are asking for is a fair, is a fair deal for Nigeria and for Nigerians. So I'm trying to understand you clearly, and I'm sure that it's very important that Nigerians understand, you know, your position as yes. well. So are you asking for a reversal that the government be in charge of the power sector, the electricity sector entirely? Because you have also argued that um, the electricity sector has not really fared. I mean, it's not that the entire, you know, system was privatized, but, you know, you have a part of it, which is a distribution. So are you saying that it should be reversed back to the government being in control, or you're saying that there should just be a change in the process of privatization? Errors should be con you know, corrected. So are you in support of privatization, or you're asking that it should be done correctly? What exactly is it? Pri privatization is not evil when it is done correctly. But if it is not done correctly like it was done in Nigeria, then you will have what you're having, which is darkness. Nigeria Airways was sold off. Nigeria Airways died. The steel sectors were also privatized, and they are no longer running. 
That is what you are having in the electricity sector. So we are saying, reverse what you have done that is not that that was not properly done. Then all of us can sit down and see whether it is right to privatize or not. Because we have our original position is that privatization is a product of neoliberalism. The neoliberal philosophy says sell everything. The market forces can correct every imbalance, can help to drive the economy. But we have found out over the years that that is not the case. That is not the truth. So let us all sit down as a nation and tell ourselves the truth, whether what we have done is OK. If what we have done is not OK, what do you do? Reverse it. When you reverse it, you do what? You take the next step and say, OK, can we run it ourselves? And we say, yes, you can run it. If we decide that you can't run it, it's OK. You can sell it off. But this is how you're going to sell it. And we put a process that will, re that will now take this into private hands, genuine private investors who can now run those particular areas. In any case, we say that even if privatization is OK, is it compulsory that government must sell off its entities? Open up the sector and let those that think they have money invest in the sector. But you find out that that is not the case. They want to steal, they want to buy public sector companies on the cheap. And that is why they are angling for that. Must it be true privatization? Open up the electricity sector. Let private investors come in, you know, invest in generation, invest in transmission, invest in distribution. And that's possible. If they know they can make money like that from it, let them go and start afresh. But they don't want to buy public properties on the cheap. And that is one of the things we it's our responsibility as people to ensure public companies are giveaway prizes to individuals who are front for government. I believe that it's wrong. We should reverse it and then look at the process again. I will not to be clear. Government can run electricity sector. Government can run electricity in other parts of the world. So in Nigeria, we can do that. It is exposed to cultural infrastructure and not uh, not essentially um, uh, a private infrastructure. It should be a social infrastructure. And now electricity to permeate all the roofs and crannies. I know make it accessible to the citizen. That is the only way our government can, uh, can drive the mental uh, efforts. Well, 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 just before we go now, uh, Onyeka, I'd like to ask you if um, uh, the reason for asking that there be a reversal also a kick against the privatization of the water resource uh, bill that's been proposed in the, uh, the National Water Bill currently before the National Assembly, what's the reason for the kick against that as well, privatization of it? Uh, if, you, if you look at what we say in the change movement, if you understand, we are talking about the evil of neoliberalism. Sell. This is not working. Sell it. That is not working. Sell it. Or they sabotage it and say, sell it. How do you want to sell what? Well, so what is the reason? Why are water? you asking that? Uh, why are you kicking against it? The privatization of it? Why are you kicking? We are saying kicking? that you cannot, you, you cannot privatize water in Nigeria. Water is a natural resource, resource that belongs to the people. If you want to, you want to set up at, at the gates of everybody's house, that is wrong. You say road, you say water, you say electricity. One day you will say air. So we are saying that they should not prevent the, that water bill should be thrown away. And we know what the water bill contains. If you look at the content of the water bill, you will cry. And so we don't want the water bill in whatever guys. We don't want that water bill to see the light of the day. So we reject it with all its potence and, its, and, and in its entirety. We don't want it. So and the water bill is savior and it so, must go. So, so what, in water water bill, what in the water bill? What in the water bill is your it? group against? What in the water bill is is your organization? Everything in the water bill. For instance, you, you need to be explicit. I, I need you to be very explicit. State example. What exactly in the water bill is um, getting your association or group agitated and asking that it be kicked out? Why do you want people to pay for water they provide for themselves? Why do you want me, for example, to pay for the water that I provide for myself? 
Why do you want me to pay for that, for example? Why do you want Nigerian workers who provide workers who are not even supposed to provide utilities? Why do you have to pay for providing such utilities for themselves? That is wicked. That is evil. That is one, one example I'm giving you. Why should we pay? I'm in my house and I dig borehole and you want me to pay for digging borehole and put, giving myself water when you have felt in your responsibility as a government to provide water. That is one example. It is evil. And we don't want water being. In, in, every, in all its entirety, we don't want water being. Let the water, let, uh, let, let us continue the work, unless federal government or the, uh, the public sector or probably state government and local government that are supposed to be in charge of all this provides water. If you provide water for the people and the people fetches the water, we can pay water rates. But if I have to dig more hole because you are fed all right, um, Onyeka Christopher, we, we have to go now. Uh, that's because we haven't, you know, been able to have a s smooth conversation with you. It's, you know, been not perfect. But unfortunately, that's on the network. Thank you so much for making our time to be with us this morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> Christopher, Assistant General Secretary of the NLC, Yaba, in Lagos right here. And, and, and you know, so there, there's some consensus that's been raised that uh, the government, the, there should be reversal of the electricity sector uh, back, you know, reverse it back. The private sector should have no business in it. But growing up and ensuring a elementary government has been argued that the private sector is the best, you know, for anything. And if you look at uh, developed climes, you ask yourself, some of the uh, sectors that have tried have been driven by the private sector. The business of government is that they provide enabling environment, fair policies, so that the, the private sector can actually thrive and, um, you know, move the economy forward. But they seem to have a different argument and opinion, and that's what we've talked about. But we have to, you know, go at this point in time. Uh, when we return, we'd we'll also look at another issue that's been raised, the fact that there's been an argument that Nigeria should be part of uh, the G20. Please stay with us. <laughs>